Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Akosia Behene. If you're seeing me for the very first time, if you're a tennis subscriber, <laughs> hey boo, what do you do? I love you. You know that I do. <laughs> now in today's video, I thought that I'll share with you guys five tips. You know, these are just things that have helped me to level up in my 20s. And um, I thought that I, I'll share them with you guys. When I say level up, it has nothing to do with for me, at least for me, leveling up has nothing to do with what's on the outside. I feel like if you are not, if you don't work on yourself from what's on the inside, what's on the outside <laughs> is still not going to be giving, you know, work on your inner self, work on your personality, work on what's inside. And then that is going to show on the outside. That's how people are going to be able to tell that, oh, you know, now the first point that i'm going to talk about is discipline discipline is one thing that for me i'll say that i picked from my dad my dad is such a disciplined person um he's constantly he's constantly talking about how important it is to be disciplined as a person and i think that it takes it's taking me a while to understand that really discipline is something that is hard to do but once you start to like incorporate it into your life it just sets you apart from so many people like you just see the difference when you're in the room with other people especially like other 20s and you're disciplined they just see the difference between you and other 20s that's why somebody sees you and then they're like you are acting so mature sometimes it's like you're acting so mature you're just acting like yourself because it's something that you've been doing for so long but to other people, other 20s are not acting like that. And that's what I'm talking about, you know. This is not acting out of your age bracket. This is just you trying to be disciplined. This is just you trying to level up, you know. You know you have routine set out for yourself. You don't just sleep and wake up at any time of the day. You have some form of active lifestyle going on for you. You're, you know that it's important to make sacrifices, you know. You know that it's important to clean your dishes after you eat discipline is so many things it's so many things and like i said it's hard it's taking me a long time to understand that discipline is something that as a human being basically it needs to come um it needs to come easy but it's not it's not something that is so easy but i feel like as a person discipline is something that sets you apart from so many people discipline is something that will make someone see that oh you're different yes you're different um from the way i carry myself one thing that i tell myself is dress how you want to be addressed um sometimes obviously you feel the need to not f put on anything you know but whenever i'm going out when I'm indoors, it's different. Whenever I'm going out, even if I'm going to buy just a bottle of water, I make sure that I know that I could possibly meet someone that um, may change my life. I mean, that has nothing to do with how I look, but also you want to dress how you will be addressed. Same applies to you want to dress um, how you want people to you know like the kind of blessing that you want to come your way you want to dress that you want to carry yourself in this particular way that you know that this is how i want people to view me this is how i want the outside world to view me this is the kind of respect that i want to bring into my circle and as a result this is how i'm going to carry myself so that's what i'm talking about discipline for me means so many things so you can define discipline in your own way you know but for me it's just how you carry yourself it's just <clears throat> i'm sorry about that oh grab a drink now for me that will be waking up early in the morning you know as a mom waking up early in the morning doing my routine which will be working out doing my readings taking my vitamins um don't taking my shower you know getting myself in a place where i know that when my baby wakes up i'm able to i'm going to be good to go you know that for me is setting a set discipline for myself no matter how tired i may be I will make sure that since I know that I have to work, I have to create content because I know that I have brands that I'm working with. I have affiliate links. I have money that I want to make for myself. I know that I want to get to a particular level in life and that level involves sacrificing. That's what I keep saying. If you want to be rich, if you want to um, make money in future, if you want to, anything that you want to do requires sacrifice. Being a mom requires sacrifice. You know, I had to sacrifice my body to carry a baby and now i have to sacrifice my time to take care of the baby so leveling up i'm um, not even leveling up as a mom leveling up in your 20s requires so much sacrifice like knowing that you need to wake up early maybe to get to your nine to five at so so and so time 
if it's not a nine to five and if it's a job that you do at home still knowing for me since it's a job that i do at home even though i have an at home office and um i, I can be so comfortable i can just watch tv in the living room and do everything that i want to do i still need to know that this is something that i am creating an empire out of this is something that i want to make money out of this is something that i want people outside to respect as a job that i'm doing and as a result i am going to treat it as such so with that being said i'm going to work up wake up at a set time do so so and so you know to have a to-do list set out um have pointers set out have days that i'm gonna edit have routines set out you know so for me these are some of the things that i feel like have has made me very disciplined um and overall discipline has set me apart from so many 20s when you see me i'm not even it's not like i'm trying to brag but when you see me and you see a lot of other 20s you obviously see that there's a difference and that's on period <laughs> no shade but i'm just saying that discipline is definitely one thing that for me has helped me to level up so much as a 20 year old you know now tip number two i am gonna say <laughs> it's funny because think like, but tip number two educate yourself is this so hard to do <laughs> google is there and it's free for everyone google anything guys if I tell you the number of times that I use Google and Siri and you know like hey Google like hey Siri like every time that I watch something on TV that I hear some English word that I don't know that I've never used before or that I don't understand I immediately look it up I'm not that type to like sit down and like or I'm not that type to sit in a conversation and they're saying something and I don't know anything about it I'm just sitting there or I'm not like I like to be abreast of information okay like that's just who i am i'm constantly looking up things throughout my pregnancy constantly reading things throughout like being with my second child constantly looking at how a baby is doing this why is my baby doing this why is my and it's always almost always on point almost always the truth that you get from google google stuff guys read books if you're the type that loves to read read books like get the dictionary on your phone don't be the type to sit down and um i don't know i don't know <laughs> you don't know <laughs> what are you talking about one way to like stand out or one way to definitely level up or one way that has helped me to level up to is uh <laughs> I'm sorry, I got a little fumbled over there. But one way that has helped me to level up in my 20s, I'll definitely say is the fact that I like I'm always on top of my information. I always know what is going on. I like the fact that I, it's not the fact that you know what is going on like in other people's life, no. But like I I just be I just be googling stuff. That's what I'm saying, you know. I just be researching stuff. Research is very good. Educate yourself. Make sure that you're constantly educating yourself. When something is going on in any part of the world, at least take three minutes of your time read on google what is going on in pakistan what is going on so so and so what why did what you know what is going on in, in australia the fire that is going on here you know just educate your damn self <laughs> on every aspect of life basically on every aspect of life listen to podcasts podcast is another way that i found that um you can it, it opens you up to other people's worlds other people's conversations clubhouse has like an area of co conversations that you can listen to basically like any way that you find that um for you educates you i'd say that educate yourself educating yourself is one way that sets you apart from a lot of other people if you're in a room with a lot of other people and they're speaking it's just very different you know people are able to tell that this girl she has information or this girl she has educated herself or this girl she knows what she's saying she knows what she's about and that is what i'm and that for me is on period <laughs> that is what i'm talking about guys like educating yourself for me is very important if i meet you and um you're not witty i mean i'm not trying to say anything in any way but if i meet you and you're not witty or we can have like a good convo a good hearty conversation an intelligent conversation and like i mean from the way you talk i can be able to tell which kind of person you are from from the way you talk i, I can be able to tell um how maybe unperturbed you are about information or education or how just you don't care and that to me comes across as like you don't care about yourself or 
like you're not a part of the world or like you don't know what's going on in the world like i don't know what you're talking about like <laughs> so educating yourself for me is very important educate yourself read books book here that i would definitely recommend everything is figure outable this is my current read um i got it as a gift for my birthday very grateful to my best friend shout out to you boo <laughs> um but yeah educating yourself for me is a key to leveling up as a 20 something year old you want to make sure that you're always staying on top of your education game or your research game okay <laughs> now tip number three which i'm dancing because tip number three happens to be my favorite if you guys hear any noise in the background even though i'm using a microphone i'm very sorry about that it happens okay but i'm gonna talk as confident and as loud as possible tip number three for me is a self-care caring for yourself is very very important okay but self-care for me is everything self-care is whatever you want it to be another thing that i always say self-care is whatever you want it to be self-care could be netflix and chill in the couch that to me is a huge form of self-care okay self-care is skincare self-care is listening to good music self-care is listening to some podcast self-care is you know taking time out to sleep having some zen moments breathing um now i'm going to use myself as an example today right now you cannot have chip nails this is not chip nails i have five lost nails and then five like on nails this is just because i'm about to fix my nails but yeah i just thought i'll use this as an example making sure that your nails are always put together this is has nothing to do with doing your nails by the way artificial nails no you can just have your nails polish your nails you know make it look good as a man you can also like just file your nails make it look nice and like cute basically you know um as a woman also do your nails have some cute nail polish if you, you're not a fan of nail polish clear gel nail polish and um, whatever you want your toes polish them make sure that they are clean the back of your feet you know the crusty parts <laughs> scrub i always have um just a regular a good dandy foot scrub in the bathroom i always use that when i'm showering um i i feel see it gives me anxiety when i see somebody's feet and then they have all those cracks and oh see stay very far away from me okay like stay just far away from me bro <laughs> stay leave <laughs> go <laughs> just <laughs> i'm not even kidding guys i cannot stand crafty feet it gives me anxiety it gives me anxiety even me even me when i go like a, in winter when i go like a week two three in winter usually i, I feel like oh it's winter you know you're not gonna go anywhere you're not gonna show your feet you're always wearing boots and stuff but even in winter when my feet are getting like dry and i'm like oh this is not happening we're, can, we're not keeping that around to me it's very important to keep like yourself going and i think i get that from my mom a lot she was a type of person to always care for herself okay she was big on brushing your teeth twice daily taking your shower twice daily i mean there are days when you feel like oh i'm tired yes that's okay life shouldn't be so complicated but make it a point to always like take care of yourself you know make it a point to have like a wash day routine you know like days like set out days that oh every two days i wash my hair it's not too much it's just you caring for yourself it's just you knowing that this body it needs care that's just what it is this body is not gonna care for itself you need to care for your body you know like no matter how broke i am i'll have body splash <laughs> that's just what it is no matter how broke i am i'll do my nails it's another thing it's another thing that i feel like i never not do i don't even know if that's correct english but you get what i'm trying to say i will always have my nails done so as a result i do my nails by myself because i know that i can't always um i couldn't always go in to pay to get my nails done so i learned how to do my nails by myself and now i do my nails by myself and i'm good at it you know that's just what i'm talking about anything that you can't now we're going to go back to learning and educating yourself anything that you can afford to buy or anything that you can afford to do right now to level up learn to do it by yourself
learning to do things by yourself will not kill you it will just basically make you a better person in life and i can't even stress this enough learning to build stuff will not kill you learning to you know know how to put things together doesn't make you any less of a person you can't afford to get it done so you're going to learn how to do it just so you can be able to get that life that you want and that for me is on period so that's what i'm talking about to me I've learned how to do so many things by myself because there are things that I wanted to do so much or th things that I wanted to have for myself so much that I couldn't afford. So I was like, I was like you know what, I'm going to learn how to do this by myself because I'm not about to wait for that life. I'm about to create that life for myself. So that's what I'm talking about. You want to create the life that you want and not wait for the life that you want. That's what we're talking about. <laughs> Also, talking about creating the life that you want, if you can afford it, sis, buy it. Don't be pepe. It won't take you anywhere. <laughs> Don't be keeping that money for who? See, my one philosophy for life is the more that you let go, the more that comes in. For money, not for life. For money. I believe, I strongly believe for me that what works for me is um, the more that I give out, the more that I get money coming in. So as a, as a, when I was in secondary school, you find me giving a lot because I found that that was the only way that I was getting money in. And now it worked for me every time. So invest in yourself, okay? Educate yourself. Use Skillshare. Learn something. Learn a new craft learn something else it doesn't always have to be like spending money to do your hair spending money to do your nails no you can also learn a new skill you know learn a new language learn something that makes you puts you higher than you were yesterday so that's what i'm talking about we're leveling up all year round all life round and educating yourself is a huge part of doing that self-care investing in yourself sis that's what we're talking about so investing yourself buy the nice stuff for yourself but also level up in the senses okay let's <laughs> let the senses go up in the leveling okay that's what i'm talking about you know what i'm talking about like look good on the outside but also invest in yourself um in ways that makes you grow as a person okay now point number four for me i'd say is being conscious of my energy i'm sorry sorry about that so just being conscious of my energy and you know where i how i share my energy and the energy that i let into my circle and everything has also really helped me um it takes a long time it's taking me a long time i still make mistakes with the kind of energy that i let in and the kind of energy that i give out um but i'm still learning but that's one thing that i've learned that has helps me grow by the day you know be conscious of your energy just be conscious of the kind of things that you open your mouth to even say to yourself and to other people um, another rule of thumb that i always use for myself is do unto others what you want others to do unto you respect yourself if you want others to respect you you know it's just simple like that respect yourself if you want others to respect you respect your energy if you want others to respect you know your worth enough to know what kind of people you want to let into your circle and the people that you let into your circle or the people that you move with definitely says a lot about the kind of person that you are usually it's it's like 100 percent true the kind of people that you move with the because they are the people that you have conversations with they're the people that you share your thoughts and ideas with so they define you because they advise you you advise them you hear their life stories you carry on their burden you share your burden with them that is just what it is so always be sure of how much information you're putting out there one um where the information is going to how much information you're letting into three and then um where the info like how ready you are to to receive other people's information and that's another thing that i've learned that is very hard to do you may have this person who is constantly calling you with like negative information or with their baggage every time that they call you with their baggage try to try as much as possible to not take that baggage in um try to give them a, a listening ear but don't take it in don't carry on people's baggage okay energy is very important being conscious of the energy that um you have around the energy that you give out the things that you say to yourself staying positive every time saying positive things to yourself as a person oh my god just basically believing in yourself and all of this knowing what you're worth 
respecting yourself enough to know what you deserve um it's just what it is it's just what it is you know being conscious of your energy is very important to me i am constantly 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 pushing away anything that doesn't serve me and i'm always telling that you know sometimes you won't see these things so i'm always telling the universe that anything that doesn't serve me please take it away um it, sometimes it may be hard but please still take it away I, I i may resist but please still take it away because if it doesn't serve me then it's it's not supposed to be in my life stay very far away from me okay quick one guys quick one let me just add this as part of being conscious of your energy in your 20s please you don't have to be holding on to like friendships like relationships and things holding on to them thinking that that is it no your 20s are not the deadline i feel like when you get to your 20s there's this like pressure on you like this is it this is it it's like like this has to be it. it's like this boyfriend has to be the boy for me no 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 don't settle in your 20s do not settle you don't have to be married by 30 put it in your brains okay put it in your brains and i always say this <clears throat> that i'm so grateful that um i finally settled down with someone that is literally my best friend because if i didn't or if if it was if, if it wasn't for him i wouldn't settle down if it wasn't for my husband i don't want to be married and it's not a shame you know it's not I don't have to be married by 20 something it's just i feel like it's just some pressure they put on people you don't have to do that you don't have to have um a set of friends you don't have to have friends that you've known them for 15 years right no no if it's not working let it go if that relationship is not working let it go if that friendship is not working let it go if it's toxic cut it just you know it's keep trying things you're not stuck you're not supposed to be stuck with this person by something no no if it's not working cut it. if it's toxic let it go if it's negative energy push it away don't hesitate to say no okay don't hesitate to say no don't hesitate to put you before other people always always you first and i'm always gonna say this i will be selfish yes let me be selfish the fathers I'm gonna do is for my kids and my husband, and you know, and for people who go all out for me. But I'm gonna be selfish when I wanna be. And when it comes to me, I'm going to be selfish. I don't care how you feel. I care how I feel. How about that? <laughs> you know what I mean? So you're not supposed to be hang on some some it's not supposed to be like that. I feel like, yes, I'm in my twenties and I'm married, but I should tell you guys this. Um don't settle i always tell my friends this if you're my friend and you're watching this video you better comment below let them know because i'll be telling all my friends do not settle till you find the right person that you want to be with so for me that is what um is one of the things that's very important to keep in your mind as a 20 something year old you're not supposed to be, have achieved something by 20 something you are still very young still very growing still very much learning so many things so don't put so much pressure on yourself as a 20 something year old okay relax breathe through your nostrils <laughs> and my last point makes me very excited but i also really want to talk about this in your 20s guys learn to set healthy boundaries learn to set healthy boundaries in your relationship work-life balance family friends everything that you do learn to know that there is a boundary there's this that you can do and there's this that you cannot do you are my friend there's this that you can say and there's this that you cannot say okay if it's no it's no and that's just what it is if i don't want to speak to you at this set time i don't want to speak to you don't call me on facetime if you haven't told me that we're going to have a video conversation or if i don't have that type of life with you it doesn't work like that it's called boundaries don't tell me what to do with my kid if i haven't asked for your opinion it's called boundaries it's just simple abc <laughs> okay guys like setting boundaries in your 20s is very important and i feel like um <clears throat> 
this is the stage where you need to start setting the boundaries from this is the stage where you actually start to have a balance between like yourself and like other people making other people understand that this is what you want this is how you want them to treat you this is how you want other people to talk to you this is how i want you to interact with me moving forward it's just boundaries and that's just what it is and mind you i'm also going to respect your boundaries the fact that you're respecting my boundaries means that i'm also equally going to respect your boundaries it's just it's just setting healthy boundaries when it comes to family i feel like especially when it comes to african family african aunties and uncles unwarranted opinions we don't want it it's called boundaries okay like we're in a generation where you don't just have to be telling us stuff like we know what we're doing i mean yes yeah, sometimes we want advice from older people or whatever but really don't just always think that it's cool to want to tell us how to carry our lives because really you guys also just lived your lives and it's turning out how it turned out and you're using your life to advise us yes yes we understand that whatever but it's called boundaries when you need to know when is the right time to tell me what you want to tell me and if i want to take it in or not you know I feel like setting healthy boundaries is very important, especially as an African. And to me, as a 20 something year old, I found that it's really important to set boundaries um, in your 20s. Matter of fact, it's important to do it really early in life, um, but it's just unfortunate that we're starting now. So if you haven't, st st if you haven't started setting boundaries for yourself, um, for your family, you know, I, as a mom, I have to know that to be able to um, do that for my kids. I have to be able to know that healthy boundaries are very important and as a result as a mom I need to give my kids the respect in the space that they need So setting boundaries is very important. It goes a long way to helping you have like a comfortable life helping helping you have balance in your life, you know so definitely i'll say that um, my last tip will be setting boundaries because people are so bad at setting boundaries set boundaries guys just set boundaries set boundaries even for yourself have boundaries that you set for your own damn self know that this is away 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 out of bounds you're not gonna you're not supposed to do this it's out of bounds and that's just what it is um so yeah oh i'm excited to have been able to share all these tips with you guys i have actually been writing these things down for a couple of months to be honest um because i've i i think that these are things that have helped me so much to grow up and glow up that's just what i'm gonna say these tips have helped me grow and glow as a 20 something year old and i'm so grateful for um how grown i feel even though i'm 20 something i feel very matured i feel like on top of my game right now and I, I feel like you know i'm on top of my shit and that's what i'm talking about then that's what i want you all to be about that's what i want you all to you know self-development self-care leveling up that's the energy that we're on from now moving on moving forward so i am gonna go away now thank you guys so much for watching this video i love you guys um follow me on instagram if you don't already do that and subscribe to the channel also give the video a huge thumbs up if you liked it and share the video to other people if you think that they'll find it helpful it helps my channel to grow it helps youtube to also see that i'm doing an amazing job and as a result i need to be you know pushed a little <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching the video i love you check out my other videos i'll see you guys in my next video bye In our eyes there is a revolution Soon there will no longer be pollution Shining by the light